means if we were to build it in the spawn chunks on Hermitcraft, it could stay loaded 24-7 and crank out shulker shells around the clock. And that would pretty much mean infinite shulker boxes for all the hermits on the server. It'll be a real big game changer. And of course for myself, with the build that I've got ahead of myself, I'm going to need a lot of shulker boxes too. Now before I tell you the shenanigans of our first night on the server and our plans for the first day, we're going to take a quick commercial break. A VPN is a virtual private network and I have been using them for years. In my opinion, there are three great reasons to use a VPN, privacy, accessibility and speed. And with ExpressVPN you can achieve all of these. And in many parts of the world, like here in the UK, internet service providers are required by law to keep logs of the websites that you visit. There are also large companies and web services harvesting your data and selling it to data brokers. If this concerns you, a VPN creates a secure encrypted network between it and your device, preventing onlookers from snooping. This masks your original IP address and hides the websites you visit from your ISP. With the internet being a global platform, many parts of it are geo-restricted. This means some video content and websites will be unavailable based on your location. Have you ever seen this message on YouTube? Or try to watch a show on Netflix, only to learn it's not available in your country? For example, you can use it to watch Vikings by switching your location to Canada. With ExpressVPN, you can pick from their large array of high-speed servers located across the globe and watch the content you want to watch, as if you were in that country. It's as simple as picking a location from a list, connecting, and then relaxing as you enjoy what you want to watch. Having a VPN will let you get more out of your subscription services. On occasion, I've had issues getting onto the Hermitcraft server. The internet is a complex web of connections, and sometimes that makes a game unplayable. A VPN can be a great remedy, allowing you to force a different route to the server running your connection for a different location. Some services and ISPs can also throttle bandwidth based on your activity. If ever a website seems unusually slow, this may be why. A VPN can potentially overcome these issues. If this interests you, then head over to expressvpn.com slash Asuma to get three months for free today. So here I am, out in the wild by some random village. I don't really know where I am on the server right now, but I have been killing salmon in the rivers for food. Like a, like a true axolotl would do. <laughs> Thought it was kind of fitting. And so now we're ready to head out. I've got a little bit of a plan, but I actually started off by not even gearing up at all, and I tried to build a villager breeder like right at the very beginning of the season because both myself and stress monster are after some villagers <laughs> i got i got a great idea for what we should do what's that x i'm gonna build like a, a, a villager breeder <laughs> okay stresses villagers have you captured um, some stress um i don't know who captured these ones there's, there's four in there i, I did that oh yeah. that's amazing okay right so over here i'm gonna build a villager breeder Ooh. and then we'll all get loads Oh, and we need some beds, so I'm gonna go steal some beds. Wait, you're building, I, you're building on day one, villager breeder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can build a really easy one. Oh, okay. I was, I was literally cool. just gonna take two on the journey with me when I find my forever home. If we, if we just put two of them in a breeder, then we can easily get more. Oh, I can hear, I can hear. I'm just searching for beds. I can't find any beds. I have, I have a sure. bed. There you go. You can take Azumi, you can take that one. I need I need four, rail. thank you. There's one in that room, but that might be hard to get. There's to. there's loads of wool. Oh yeah, from sheep, I guess. No, and in the roofs of these things. So I'm oh in the roof. Some. Oh yeah. yeah. God, it's like right in front of me. <laughs> it's staring you right in the face. And so I set out to build a villager breeder. I had the design, but there was a lot of bumbling around because I didn't really think about how you should properly get the villagers into there. So there was a lot of this nonsense. But finally, when I finished it, then this happened. Azuma, what have you done to me villagers? They're a breeder now. Are They'll you make breeding more. already? Azuma, be villagers! Look what at this! Gonna breed? <laughs> So children. You could have done it in the swamp, Azuma, then they would have been pretty. Oh my god. Why'd you have to <laughs> say that now? Swamp villagers <laughs> would be amazing? Yeah, yeah. they do. It's only like five blocks 
Yeah, oh. Maniazzi, okay, Maniazzi, we can Maniazzi. move them. <laughs> we can move them. <laughs> they made him change the whole yeah, design. Just build it again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'll oh. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it, aren't I? You know. No, you don't have to. Everyone we come villages. to visit, we bring trouble. Build <laughs> a second one next door. I like that you're just standing, contemplating moving the whole design now. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the best way to do it. <laughs> I think. Please. It's yeah. totally worth it, though. It's totally worth it. It is you're worth right. it. It's absolutely. It yeah. Yeah. <sighs> it seemed like a really good idea a minute ago. Oh yeah. <laughs> we like those swamp villagers. I blame false. Yeah, it was me. I didn't warn you at all. Give him a nudge. Moment. You got it. It's gonna go great. It's so it's so annoying doing this wait, for wait, like wait, nothing. I haven't done anything goes. yet, but oh, now I'm no, doing oh, this. Wait. Okay, this better not backfire. I'm gonna cry. No, do more! Oh, God, that was a bad move. Get back in there. Get back in there. Get back in there. Oh my God. Oh no, 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 no. You're doing it. You're doing it. Oh my God. This is this is stressing me out. You're not getting in a boat. So annoying. I'm down there. They're so annoying. Another little nudge. Yes. Come on. No. Whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Where are you going? That way. Okay. Yes. Success. Thank you. That was. Oh, and this well one. Done. Go on then. Are you sure this is in the swamp biome? Oh, don't say that now. I check. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, oh, he's playing games. <laughs> he doesn't want to be him. Oh, oh, he's, he's on his wait. way. He's going to his oh, bed. He's going to his bed. Yeah. 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 Watch wait, out the way. He won't let me pass. Hop, hop, hop. There we go. No. There we go. No. Oh. Give him a little tap. Just oh, no. get in there! <laughs> what is this resilience? He's not having any of it. Wait, there's okay. a farmer that oh. wants to go in as well. This farmer is the mate, worst. move. He wants a nap. <laughs> yes, take that villain. No, how'd you get back out? <laughs> Parkour. Is he done? Oh, they're all gonna get out. They're all. This is the worst. Oh, this is very entertaining, I have to say. I'm yeah. glad it is for you. <laughs> I'm dying over here. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, finally yes. done. Yes. Woo. Well done, Azuma. So I found my way back to the starter village at spawn. And there is a giant egg build in here, which is fantastic. And this is the breeder, which, by the way, is in fact inside of the swamp biome, right where the villagers do their breeding. Now, the problem with this is... We need food to give them, and it's kind of hard to get like a lot of food in one go, right? So it might take a bit of time growing up some of the crops around here so we can feed them and get them breeding babies. Anyways, all of this got me thinking about some resources that I need to go and gather. And one way that I've been getting some iron is simply by killing the iron golems when I visit a village. Just such a simple way to get some iron ingots. But I'm thinking that, you know, in order to get more, I need to hunker down and branch mine. And if I'm going to do that, I really want to get to enchanting quickly, which means that I need some bookshelves. And the best way to do this, as far as I know, is to go on a raiding spree. So we're going to head out to the ocean, go off into the distance and try and find some villagers off the main island. Glow ink sacks. What would kill a glow squid? I think you know what would kill a goat. <gasps> there must be one in the area. My friends, I can't see a thing down here, but the axolotls, they, they spawn in underwater caves, right? They need a roof above them. And yeah, this, oh, it's so difficult. We've got an underwater cave system here. I found, there's two of them. There was a brown one and a pink one. Oh, look. Okay, I might drown down here, but these are axolotls. Oh, buddy. Buddy, I see you. Come on, you and me together forever. Ah, oh, so close. Yes, we've got it. <laughs> Day one, we've got our buddy in a bucket. Ah, oh. oh, that makes me so happy. So you know what to do, my friends. Head to the comments below and leave a name suggestion for this cute little guy in the bucket. Because as soon as I find a name tag, I am naming this fella. 
Oh, but look at this skin, it's so good. Which reminds me, I gotta say a massive thank you to Pidgeycraft for sending me this skin. It is, it is gorgeous and I love it. Anyways, I found a village to raid, and raiding it I have been doing. You'll see here I've been picking up each of the different types of workstation blocks so that we can make our own villages with the trades that we want. And what I realized is building that villager trader at spawn kind of not useful for me because I actually want one in my base. So we're going to pick up a couple of villagers over here. And yep, there it is. Off in the distance, I've already captured one. And because I pinched so many of the workstation blocks in this village, I should be able to lure the villagers over here with the composter, which I did a moment ago. However, it doesn't seem to be working right now. Okay, it's working. We got one coming over here. Then I want to put the boat between it oh, and the workstation. And key thing here is that I got a path to the ocean where I don't need to dig any blocks out of the way. And that's all we actually need from here. So now I got a couple of trips back and forth to get these villagers over to my base area. So this is it, my friends. This is the continent that we've settled on. And the world spawn is over in this spot here. So I would have had to have taken a long trip all the way around the island and then back down to this spot here. This cove is where we are settling. So rather than use the villager breeder already at spawn, I'm going to come up to this area. That's where the village we just found is. And so now I just got to make the trip back and forth a couple of times. And because our breeder is in our base, that sadly means no swamp villagers for us. But anyway, this is the main reason I'm out raiding these villages. I found another one. Bookshelves. This is the thing that I am looking for. So now, down here, deep below our island, we have the means to do some enchanting. Thanks to all the bookshelves and other goodies that I wrangled. I also got some diamonds from Buried Treasure. And I had to mine a couple in order to make this. I also got creepered and died. So it might look like I have more XP, but believe me, I've lost a lot. But here you can see done a ton of caving this will give us a little bit more xp and we'll try and get a good enchantment on this diamond pick well i was hoping for fortune but at some point you want to get your silk touch together right so i guess i'm going to take that one now and we'll probably need a higher level of xp to get that lucky again but as you'll see i have indeed found some more diamonds to enchant another pick so i think i'm going to roll the dice on this level 18. ah well that's going to be my mining pick and while I was out mining, I did stumble across a skeleton spawner, so that's going to be a great source of XP. And inside of here, I got myself a name tag. And as you know, of course, our axolotl needs a name. I'm going to be reading those comments, looking for a suggestion. So this skeleton spawner got me thinking about the locations of farms and something that I found a moment ago. So I've gone back through here and punched out the torches. I want you to see this the way that I did. And for some reason, I didn't notice this uh, smooth basalt around the outside here. But as I turned the corner, I was like, wow, there it is, an Amethyst Geode. Now, these only grow when the player is nearby. So if we're going to be like AFK at a spawner farming skeleton bones, it would be good to have one of these nearby. Unfortunately, this is a little too far away. Anyways, I'm thinking a little too far ahead. We want to focus on what we're doing this episode. And I did a little farming over here and kind of forgot that the uh, Podzol comes along and we need to replace that all with grass because I want to make a map of this area and I kind of want to preserve our first steps so when I went raiding one of the things that I picked up was a cartography table as well as some blank maps and some other goodies as you can see and I mapped out this area and I had to zoom out a little bit as well and you can see the pods all turns on the map so it's a little unfortunate but this map is actually off center from where our base is which means that we're going to have to get another three maps and put them in a 2 by 2 grid in item frames. So I'm going to go over map out that area over there and then in that direction. And I made a note in my calendar every two weeks I'm going to make four new maps and we'll create some sort of room somewhere uh, where <laughs> where we're going to have like a map room that unfolds over the course of the season. Am I being raided? Ah, oh, I got visitors on the island. Hello. Welcome, welcome. And here's a fantastic way to pacify any patrolling illagers. They can see me, they'll shoot because of the slabs, but they can't hit me. So I can stand here for a while, we get a pacified pillager, and we can use that for an iron farm. This is why I brought these villagers over here. I just didn't realize this bit would be so easy. Sadly though, it does mean we'll have to use this name tag for something else. 
Aha, uh -huh. and I believe the other one is unfortunately going to despawn eventually. Okay, our four maps are fully filled out and I also locked them in the cartographer table. This actually worked out pretty good because the base that I'm building, the statue, is going to be this area right here. So it's kind of right in the middle. And if you've been wondering where those villagers I captured earlier are, they're actually behind this cobblestone wall, safe and sound. See, my plan was to kind of steam ahead and do a bunch of technical stuff, build an iron farm, get some villager trading going, and they would end up just sort of floating in the sky because eventually they'll be inside of the statue, and I kind of need a bit more time to figure those things out. And so, I'd like to turn our attention to the islands that we have that are going to be around the statue, I actually really like the shape and layout of this whole area. So as well as building a mega project, I also want to focus on doing aesthetics and some regular Minecraft building. And so I think I'd like to pivot this episode and build ourselves a starter home over here on the back of this island. And as you might suspect with this being 1.17 and there being new blocks, I wanted to take advantage of some of the new building blocks and incorporate them into the start of this build. So that's why we got some smooth basalt, which I harvested from the amethyst geode. And we've got some cobbled deep slate here, which we can turn into a variety of other deep slate blocks. And there it is my friends, a place that we can call a home. Somewhere for this jumble of chests which is going to quickly grow out of control to go inside of, right? And you'll notice some little details here and there like with the leaves above and below the trapdoors. It's all kind of self-explanatory at this point. Nothing's been done on the inside though. However, this thing isn't like loaded with detail. I've just wanted to use deep slate with something and since spruce and oak was available, I decided to mix them with some classic textures. So, I want to add something a little detailed just over in this space, which is why I've left this bit open. So, I'm going to go ahead and just build the whole thing and you'll see it when it's done. So you don't just want a building, you want things around a building that add a little to it. And so over here I built like a, a giant blast furnace, right? Talking about details, I mean that just looks so cool, the way that it lines up with the anvil. But then we need to add something a little bit more to make it more animated. And what we can actually do is put campfires under these blocks. And as you'll see, the smoke actually passes through and it kind of groups up on the other blocks here. There's also a little bit of smoke coming out the back here, and that's because I've uh, put them under these blocks. So if you didn't have the blocks here, it kind of like overload it with too many smoke particles, but that 